Welcome back to In Charge, life with an electric vehicle for our next EV adventure. I'm your host, Raven. Throughout this series, we'll be busting myths and learning about the benefits of electric transportation as I road trip across the Tennessee Valley. In our last episode, we spent the day with David Fish from Local Motors in the 2019 Chevy Bolt. We explored downtown Knoxville and learned about how electric vehicles are benefiting our local economies. Today, we're in the Porsche Taycan, a race car inspired all electric vehicle built for performance, power, and speed. The Taycan features an 800 volt battery, which delivers 522 horsepower and an aerodynamic design optimized for top speed. We'll be meeting up with our next guest, race car driver Trevor Bain at the legendary Bristol Motor Speedway. We'll be learning more about how electric vehicles compare to a traditional vehicle. Trevor's been driving professionally for years now, so I'm sure he'll have some great insight. Let's hit the road. Hey, Trevor, how are you? I'm doing great, Raven, how are Lovely you? Lovely to meet you. It's good to meet you too. I'm so excited to check this place out. Let's go see it. Let's do it. Wow, this is huge. Very cool. Pretty cool racetrack. Do you have any career highlights here? The highlight of my career was winning the Daytona 500. Nice. Um, that was a pretty cool, cool. moment. Yeah. Unfortunately, it did not happen here, though. No. I, uh, I always wanted to go to Victory Lane, which is on top of the building down there in the infield. Oh, right there. It's right down there. Okay, you do yeah. burnouts going up the ramp, oh, and I uh, cool. always wanted to do that. This was my home track. Got a lot of races here, um, but I did finish in the top five some, so that was pretty fun. That's awesome. We can, uh, we can go check it out a little closer if you'd like to. On, on the track? Let's go. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we're here at the start finish line. Wow, yeah. this is like, this is pretty surreal. <laughs> Do you get a lot of adrenaline when you get up to this place? Oh, always. You know, right now it's a little bit dirty and they're pressure yeah. washing it because they just had a dirt race here, oh, cool. which was like the first time in 20 years that dirt has been on this racetrack. Really different kind of race. Yeah. But normally it's full of fans, you know, it's packed out, the lights are on, you're getting ready to go race, fireworks are going off wow. and you're getting amped up. And how fast are you going in the car? Here are our average speeds around like 110, 120 miles an hour. You think we'll go that fast today? <laughs> I don't know, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> well, let's go check out the car that we've got today. Cool, let's go. All right. What do you think? <laughs> I'm in the wrong seat, I think. <laughs> Yeah, get comfortable over there. I hear you. I don't do this very often. Let's take a spin around the speedway. Let's go for it. So what do you know about electric vehicles? So I've been in the driver's seat of one. I've seen that they have a lot of torque, and I've seen kind of the performance side and the acceleration. It just blows my mind. And I, I guess it's because a gas engine has to have uh, kind of a, a power band. So certain RPM, the engine really makes power. The EVs are instantaneous. I mean, these cars, like, to just built for performance. One of my favorite things about electric cars is regenerative braking. And what that is, is kind of like an engine brake in yeah. the sense of as soon as you let your foot off the gas, it's gonna slow down. Um, and what's great about that is the time it takes for you to put your foot off of the gas and then put it on the brake, it, there's quite a few moments in the, between that and the car's not slowing down. Right. With regenerative braking, as soon as you let your foot off the gas, you're automatically slowing down. So that could be, you know, life-saving yeah. when it comes down to just a, you know, a couple inches or a couple feet. I look forward to driving it and seeing what we can yeah, get out we, of this thing. Should we switch seats? Uh, I think we should. I, I'm not sweating too bad yet, but I'd like to get behind the steering wheel. Okay, yeah, let's do it. A little bit nervous. I'll try to take care of you, but hang on. Check your heart rate. I've got one more thing we can do while we're here at Bristol. I think we need to line it up on the drag strip. We can find another car around here somewhere. Let's go race. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I do better. <laughs> I have my foot all the way on the gas. 
That's all it's got. You gotta switch cars. Trevor, thanks so much for showing me around the track today. What did you think about an electric vehicle? I know you've been in gas cars your whole life racing. You know, after driving these cars today, I really enjoyed it. I've spent a lot of time behind the steering wheel and driven a lot of things, and this car was really impressive. Really, until you get in the car and get that roller coaster like effect of the acceleration, you don't really understand how fast we are going. Um, but I think at the end of the day, I'm super impressed. Um, the car handled great, and Man, I really like these EVs. Well, that's good to hear. To learn more about what an EV could look like for you and your family, go to energyright.com slash EV. And thanks for coming along with me on this journey. See you next time. Let's hit the road. Let's go.